By the end of this lecture, you will know how to successfully create a brand new Firebase project from the Firebase console. Then I'm going to teach you how to register an app for the web inside the Firebase project. Finally, I'll show you how to access the Firebase SDK code that we need to add inside our JavaScript app in order to use Firebase services. Let's get started. The first step is to create a brand new Firebase project inside the Firebase console. To do that, head over to the browser and type firebase.google.com which takes you to the Firebase homepage. Then click on the go to console or sign in button on the top right hand corner. If you already have a Gmail account, you can enter your credentials to log in. That's because Google actually acquired Firebase in 2014 and it became a part of Google since then. Once logged into Firebase, I can create a new project by clicking on create project and give it a name. I'm going to call it my first Firebase project. Then hit continue. Then uncheck the enable Google Analytics for this project because we are just creating a sample project. Then click create project which takes a few seconds to finish creating. Once it's done, click on continue which takes me to the project dashboard. As you can see the project name in the top middle that I have just created indicating that I am inside this project. If you are in a different project, you can easily switch to the right one using the drop down at the top. Once the Firebase project is created, the next step is to register an app for web. As you can see, I have five buttons in the middle of the Firebase project dashboard. iOS, Android, Web, Unity, and Flutter. Since we are going to use Firebase inside our JavaScript web app, so it's obvious to choose web. Now let's give it a nickname to register an app. So I'm going to say my Firebase app for web. Click on register app. Once it's registered, it gives a Firebase SDK code on the screen. This is the code that we need to add inside our JavaScript app in order to connect our web app to this Firebase project to use its services. Then click continue to console. The page we just saw with the Firebase SDK code only shows at the time of registering an app. In order to access the Firebase SDK code again, project dashboard, make sure you are in the right project. Then click on the gear icon at the top left side and choose project settings from the drop down menu and scroll down until you see the section called your apps and you can see the same code here. Nice. There are two main ways to set up and configure Firebase inside our web app using this code. One is using via NPM, another one is via CDN. By the end of this lecture, you are going to learn how to set up Firebase in your JavaScript web app via Firebase CDN, which stands for Content Delivery Network. The first step is to set up a project folder. So create a folder inside the desktop. I am going to call it Firebase hyphen cdn hyphen javascript i will be using visual studio code editor and feel free to use your own favorite text editor okay now i'm going to open up the project folder inside visual studio code editor so go to file and open folder i'm going to choose the folder i have just created now let's create two files one is index.html and another one is app.js inside this project folder once it's done now i'm going to add some basic html skeleton 
inside the index.html file like so nothing fancy here right before the ending body tag i'm going to link the app.js file here opening and closing script tags and source equals app.js in quotes like so the next step is to go ahead and grab the cdn version of firebase sdk setup code from the firebase project dashboard go to the firebase console and i'm going to get into the project that i want to connect with our javascript web app then project overview project settings and choose cdn now just copy all the code here except the starting and ending script tags because i'm going to paste the sdk code inside the app.js file copy that and head back to the app.js file and paste it here like so as you can see from the firebase sdk code the script tag has an attribute called type with a value module so let's add that attribute to the script tag inside index.html where i include app.js file like so the reason we add that this type equals module attribute is because firebase sdk code has import statements in it in order to be able to use the import statement inside javascript file the file has to have type attribute with the value module otherwise it will throw an error let's console log the app object and run the app on the browser i could simply right click the index.html file to open it with chrome browser but i don't see any value inside the developer console and it simply won't work we need to run our javascript app on the server in this case a local host luckily visual studio code has an extension called live server to install this extension to the visual studio code editor go to code from the menu bar and choose preferences extensions now let's search live server from the search bar there it is with the purple and pink color icon click on it and install it as you can see i have already installed it and that's why you can see the uninstall button once it's installed all you have to do is to press command shift p from your keyboard if you are using pc it would be control shift p then type live server in the search bar and choose open with live server option which will launch the browser automatically with localhost server running on port 5500 in my case let's open up developer console and you can see the firebase app object with a lots of data this shows that we have successfully set up or initialized firebase inside our javascript project one more thing worth pointing out here unlike firebase 8 which is namespaced firebase 9 is designed to be a modular style approach meaning you only include firebase products you intend to use inside the project this makes our app smaller and faster let's say if i want to use firebase authentication which is one of the firebase products inside our javascript app to do that just go to the firebase web libraries page on the browser which is https colon slash slash firebase dot google dot com slash docs slash web slash setup pound sign available hyphen libraries and you can see all the available firebase services for web right there the one i am interested in is firebase authentication so click on the authentication for web button copy the second line of the code which is import opening closing curly braces get auth from firebase slash auth inside the codes paste it inside app.js file right below the initialize app import statement then go back to the firebase website and copy the last line of the code and paste it inside app.js right below the app constant like so but there is a problem in the get auth import statement after the from keyword where it says firebase slash auth in quotes we need to replace it with the firebase auth cdn link 
uh, similar to initialized app. In order to find a CDN link for Firebase authentication, head over to Firebase CDN libraries for web on the browser. HTTPS colon slash slash Firebase dot Google dot com slash docs slash web slash learn hyphen more pound sign libraries hyphen CDN and you can see all the available CDN links for each Firebase product. The one I am interested in is authentication. So copy the URL, everything in codes right after the from keyword. Come back to the app.js file and replace Firebase slash auth with the copied URL like so. Let's console log auth. Switch back to the browser and you can see the authentication object inside the browser console which means Firebase authentication is ready to use in this project.